Folks, at the day of this recording, it is Monday, March 7th, 2022, of course, and I am looking at a title that should not surprise anybody. It says, Cryptos Slide on News. Ready for this? Biden to sign crypto executive order this week. Yes, he's finally going to get around to it, folks. And I just want to simply say that in the book of Revelation, it talks about a one world government and a one world economy that is in essence cashless. And I want to simply say that we are going in that direction and we're going in that direction quite quickly. Let me read a portion of this article and I don't think it should come to a surprise by anybody, but he is wanting to lay out their strategy, which I don't know if anybody as sophisticated as old Sleepy Joe can come up with something uh, so radical for a strategy with cryptocurrency. But it says this, it says, according to the report, Biden's EO, that I would assume that means economic officer, will direct federal agencies to examine potential regulatory changes as well as the national security and economic impact of digital assets. Translation, he's going to have his guys check and make sure that they can have control over any form of cryptocurrency that actually becomes mainstream because they want to know everything you're doing, including buying a piece of cake. That's really the translation. The article goes on to say it comes at a time when the White House approach to crypto has attracted fresh attention amid concerns that Russian firms and oligarchs could use cryptos to evade restrictions. Okay, translation, we're watching the Russians get away from restrictions that are being placed upon them, so we want to make sure that we can completely choke out our own people when they choose to rebel against what the government has to say. Folks, this shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. I am telling you, I've said it once, I'll say it again. Obviously, we have no reason to trust the government. We have every reason to trust in Christ. And we know what God's word says about this time that is going to be coming. I have said it before, I'll say it again. The United States of America becomes inconsequential in Bible prophecy because these globalists who truly seek and desire to rule the world with a very small ruling class will, in essence, be the ones who enables the final Antichrist after we're raptured, by the way. Thank God. Praise God. And what we're going to watch happening is something like the world has never seen. We are seeing it right now. I am not surprised that the United States of America is putting a policy together like this, especially in the form of an executive order. Um, another way of saying a dictatorial sort of a uh, um, call out for lack of a better term, right? And there's a reason behind that. Uh, no, well, there is a pun intended behind the term call out. Anyway, <laughs> all of this is being done because we know we're moving in the direction of one economy and that is the economy of the final Antichrist. Folks, we've got to pay attention to the things going on around us. And while we're on this earth, yes, we Christians, while we are on this earth, we have an obligation to step up and to fight the good fight knowing what God has in store for us as we continue to move forward in a world that hates God and is growing in their hatred for God. It is time for us to stand up for righteousness and the truth, you guys, because Jesus is coming soon. God bless you.